here coming with you with a new video and today we're just simply going through two uh, recording programs you can use for Minecraft on a Mac and one's called Screamflow which I use to uh, to actually record and the other one's called Screenium and today I'll just be showing you a quick look through and as you can see I'm just messing around with my desktop and <clears throat> at first my computer my hard drive was kinda slow it's usually pretty fast it's 500 gigs I'm pretty sure the writing speeds at like 750 and it's uh... so it wasn't at its best time today so as you can see it's kinda laggy but uh... soon later it warms up and it gets better but um... let me give you a background on both of these programs with Screenium uh... you get a very very good frame rate but the quality is not the best. With ScreenFlow, your FPS is lowered, but you still get pretty good quality. So, as you can see now, in window mode, I can get like 60 FPS. Pretty simple, right? But once I go into uh, full screen mode, I right, that will drop to 29. And when it drops to 29, it's it's not horrid, horribly bad. It's still manageable. So as you can see, it's still manageable, it's still good. It won't be the smoothest um, thing, but this is ScreenFlow. And it won't be the smoothest, but it still gets the job done. So, uh, what I like to do for a benchmark is that I will take lava and I'll just set it all over the place. Or I will blow up, uh, there's a chunk of a wall with a, um, uh, with dynamite. Or TNT as you may call it and this is the type of benchmark we're going to do here and as you can see you can see that there's kind of some lag and frame drops because of the slow um, hard drive and you know, well not the slow hard drive just the catch and speed but it warms up since I'm practically flying and this is going in frames so now we've warmed up and it's much better now and what you see while you record is not like, it's not just so you get a good FPS. It's actually what you're going to see when you uh, view it. And that's what I love about ScreenFlow. It gives you the honest, the honest thing. But with Screenium, you just, they give you a good FPS, but never, you don't know, know how your quality is going to look. Because with Screenium, you have options to set the 60 FPS and all that. But uh, as you can see in the next part of the video, I tried doing that and pretty much didn't work so but right now we're going to do the uh, benchmark which is the TNT explosion and we're just going to get some flint and steel so we're just going to put the, flint, the uh, TNT down and yeah and this is a quick benchmark I like to do whenever I'm recording and as you can see I pop up the uh, <coughs> the stress levels and pretty much it's Sometimes at a very stress rate if I have a lot of programs running, but right now I barely have any. And then <clears throat> later on, um, if I have no programs running and my Mac was just booted up, it, that's like the best time to do a playthrough or a recording. And that's what I recommend for all Mac users. Um, I do plan to switch to PC. I'm not saying that well, it's going to be changed because of PC. Um, I'm I'm really maxing out the rig I'm building, and <clears throat> I'm very much excited about it. I've been planning for it for a long time. I've been saving money, and <clears throat> what I really want to do is just do playthroughs and everything. Cause I don't think I have a computer like the CPU. Cause this is a very old CPU. This is a dual core. It's a good CPU, but it's not enough to handle as much stress as it puts on while recording and playing games and everything. <clears throat> but uh, new Macs have i7 cores, and with these i7 cores, it's like pretty damn amazing what it's capable of. And as you can see right here is the benchmark. So we experienced some lag there, <coughs> but it wasn't as bad as I would think it is. It my computer freeze when it did, but I guess it came through, and yeah. So now we're gonna switch over to uh, Screenium. And with Screenium, uh, you get it's it's very shaded. But with screen, I did uh, some touch-ups, 
to make it look a little nicer so we're going to switch over the screen here. Alright, so here we are at uh, Screenium, and with Screenium, you got semi-good frame rates, not the best, this is, it looks very laggy, and what we have here is, I touched it up a bit with uh, some color, and you can see that the stress levels drop at some point, so it, sometimes it looks good, but if you look at the video quality, it's very, very, very bad, um, but Overall, you get a good frame rate, and with a good frame rate, cause it just comes a very good uh, recording software, and uh, yeah, so it's very, very, very much uh, reliable. If you have a, a relatively new Mac, you should really go with ScreenFlow and the Screenium. But if you um, really just want to um, uh, get some commentaries done and or you could have ScreenFlow and Screenium. Screenium is very cheap. Screenium is about 50 bucks. And um, I got some free keys for this. Not illegally. A friend, to, a friend of mine gave them to me because he had some extras. And I used the free keys to just get both of these programs. So maybe I'll record in Screenium and then I'll put it in uh, ScreenFlow. Or vice versa. It depends. But... Uh, ScreenFlow doesn't convert files into QuickTime. Screenium does, which is a very, very uh, convenient thing about it. So, um, yeah, so pretty much uh, the one to go with today is uh, ScreenFlow. And if you have a computer that can run it, well, that can record gameplay. I tried this with uh, Counter Strike and Team Fortress 2. These are those are killers on this. So it's not really the best thing you want. And pretty much. That's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Um, please subscribe, uh, rate, like, everything. And uh, have a good day, guys. Um, a new video up soon. Have a good day.